Okay, so starting where we left off, we have one task left to complete for the short campaign victory. That is destroy Clan Angrund. They're over here. They're relatively weak. Yeah, they only have two settlements, no real balance of power. Strength rank 89. Now we could go for this settlement. How much is it worth? All right, almost 5,000 gold. I think that's worthwhile. And we need to really kind of wait around here for a little bit until we get a second army here. Ooh, Wurzag's up there. Actually, let's see what he has first. Oh yeah, those armies are garbage and they don't have laws, so this one army could easily take them out if they need to. Yeah, you see there, that's just a basic land battle, but this is a settlement. So because it doesn't have any walls built up, just a basic land battle, I much prefer that. I do understand if some of you guys don't though, It's opinions are always going to be different, but for the way I play the game, this is going to make things much smoother and easier and just more enjoyable both on the offensive and the defensive. Braga, you're getting 500 gold a turn. Actually, now that he's left that settlement, we'll go for that attack. It, oh, I love maps like this. Yeah, if we had uh, some AoE spells, we would be at a massive advantage here, but we don't. Is this supposed to be mud or something? Why can't I go here? That doesn't look quite right. How can I even tell where the map begins and ends? Alright, man. We'll just squeeze onto that magical bridge that's invisible. They're just immediately rushing me. They have a whole army of reinforcements and they're just immediately rushing me. Fine. That's okie dokie. We'll just pause them in place for a moment. <laughs> that squig looks so cool. I am using them on lords just because it's fun. Oh. Oh, these are some of my favorite combat animations. It should get wiped out really easily there. Oh yeah, that's a lot of damage. Alright, I'm just going to leave them on fire at will. I don't want to mess up my micro. I'm not concerned about the minutia of this battle. We just got to broadly do things correctly. Oh no, we broke them so quick, we can just run for their archers now. Oh yeah, we got it. Alright, <laughs> that's a lot of friendly fire we're doing there. Uh, I'll just turn all of my archers off, and because I'm faster than them, I'll just run them all down. That was a good dub. Uh, pretty much full replenishment, nice. And then we just take this and auto-resolve, easy peasy. Ah, forgot about that. Gotta build siege engine. Thought we had a siege attacker in this army for some reason. It, it literally can't be built up to tier 5 here, but it says it is. Huh. I thought I missaw that at first, but no, that's an actual bug. Wow. That's weird. Is that winnable? I didn't think they were going to go for that attack. I'm going to fight this, even though I don't expect to win it necessarily. If I can force a really fast fight, I might be able to take this. I do have all of the spinning loons here. Where are they? Alright, that's, that's a good situation. Yeah, I just want to use these because they're going to take some damage from these charges. I just want to make sure I get at least the first one off. Alright, shoot the shit out of those nasty skulkers, please. Okay, where's Axe back there? He's wise to stay back, because if my archers get at him, he is gone. Okay, the nasty skulkers are running in just a moment here. Alright, we got another use. When you're using them en masse, it's very different in terms of the strategy than using them on one individual unit. You just gotta get him out there as quickly as you can, and somewhat effectively. Alright, so we are wiping out this first army. We're forcing melee on their archers. Always good. It's very hard to commentate while doing a very fast-paced battle like this. Oh, these are going to be nice. I'm going to actually turn it to slow-mo just so we can see. Take a look at that. Oh, just tearing through him. A lot of friendly fire, but my god. Oh yeah, this unit's almost wiped out. <laughs> Nearly wiped them out with friendly fire. Oh, that's not great. Ah, uh, yes, the reinforcements came in. They have a few archers going into melee back here for no reason. That's very good. Keep targeting Warzag. Might target him with even more. A lot of micro. This is a very fast-paced battle, but I think we're doing pretty damn well here. Yeah, I'd say this is going pretty well. Not perfectly, but pretty well. I mean, we win it for sure at this point. Yep, there we go. 
That balance of power went from like 60% to 100% real fast. These guys got pretty good value. Yeah, I mean, overall, I would say they were used about as well as they could have been. Compared to our just normal melee units, or even our archers, they got more value, so... Wow, they just immediately re-attacked me. They should not have done that. Did they? That's a completely different army then, isn't it? Yeah, because I hurt their reinforcing army a lot. I, whatever, man. Hopefully that'll work. Okay, it's actually working, even though it's uphill there. I believe we're done here. Alright, are we going to have to deal with you? you going to roll out and attack us? Alright, Itchy Nuisance. I love Itchy Nuisance. It's so good. Alright, definitely on those trolls. Want to lower their melee attack. Nice, they have 10 melee attack by the time they get to us, so they just aren't hitting. Alright, your melee attack is gone. And now you are going to be gone as well. Trolls are either dead or alive. They're never injured. Or at least you can never assume they're going to stay injured. And just force them off the battlefield. As long as their archers aren't shooting, they're not doing damage. How is this battle still going, man? I have no idea. Oh, that's... Oh, it wasn't... It wasn't still going. That's why I had no idea. <laughs> Alright. So we're just gonna... Play Whack-A-Mole here. I think we can take out the most by going... Oh no, we might be able to bounce from him down back there to the guy on Force March. Can we reach him? We can. Nice. Eric victory, I'm gonna fight that. How are you still not broken? You're all dead. This is gonna be quite a cinematic battle, actually. And I don't have too much to micro, so I might just show it like this. Oh yeah. That's badass. And they're broken. But no, the, the balance of power shifter that is the spinning loons, it is insane when it works. They might have actually fixed that in this update, because I haven't had, since the update and since the start of this episode, I haven't had it glitch out once. Sneak Squigbeard's gonna take this. Easy peasy. Auto resolve. And we just occupy it, because it's a decent enough settlement. And this will actually allow us... To reduce our upkeep even further, up to 66% global upkeep reduction. Ah yes, uh, so we could go for... We can't go for them in one turn, so I'll just go for this first. Decisive victory auto-resolve, we only lose the Wa units, I'll take that. I think I'll raise that, just so that they're not a thorn in my side. If I attack you with one army, I think you're less likely to run away, so I'm going to do that. I mean, he himself is incredibly powerful, and he could probably wipe out my entire army. But he's not unbreakable. So I can just, you know, destroy his entire army, and he'll run away. These guys will just be meat for the meat grinder. We'll let him charge in, die, and then we'll clean up after them. Yeah, their AI is doing something really weird here. They just have a long line of guys. Alright, if we could push in here or deal with those archers... They're all split up. They're not breaking easily, though. They have high leadership. They have really high leadership, it seems. Alright, everyone target Emmerich there. You go for Emmerich as well. Even though you're probably going to die doing it, that's fine. They're mostly gone at this point. Oh yeah, he's taking a lot of damage there. He does have so much resistance, but the death juice is killing him. Combined with just being shot in the face by everything. He hasn't used his abilities very effectively either. And just in general, their army played that pretty terribly. Yeah, we got that. We'll see if we can wipe out Imric. It would be great if we could. Oh yeah, he's going down. He's going down. A lot of health, but that's even more arrows. Come on. Oh no, he got up. Oh yeah, he's out of there. He was just demolished. We lost nothing. That was some of the worst AI use of an army I've ever seen, genuinely. They just stood still in a straight line. I think we ought to resolve them now. Yep. Enjoy. Gotta level up so many lords every turn now. So many skill points, my god. Uh, I'll have him go up this away. I'm not even at war with him? Well, well I will be soon. 
Let's end this turn. Seven turns left on the wall. I'm hoping to finish this campaign out before that. Really want to get it done before turn 50. I'm pretty confident we can. Ah, okay. We're going to trade well here, but Gelt himself is a bit of a doom stack right there. We'll see what we can do. I would like to keep this army alive. I want to get as many uses of this as possible, so I'll use one immediately. Ah, shit. I was too late there to move them. Could have avoided more of that, but... We'll hit that now. That's a pretty damn effective use if I've ever seen one. Oh yeah, that'll route a few of them. Just break. Just break already, please. Just break. Okay. Thank god. I think we lost some fanatics. His army did nothing. It was just Gelt. Why is he force marching there? He's at war with me. Yeah, I'll just wipe him out next turn. Easy peasy. And he's just dead as well. They just... <laughs> They just keep force marching up to my armies. I, I don't know what they're doing. A lot has changed over that end turn. And all of it good. Um, Belagar is dead now. He's he's dead. <laughs> yeah, we just auto-resolve him. Now, it's very good that we're able to auto-resolve him. Because my guy is immune to missiles. We're going to take a decent number of casualties auto-resolving that, but I think he might have just fought forever and taken out like five stacks of gobos. Kill this guy. Probably an auto-resolve. Definitely an auto-resolve. Yeah, I don't know why he just put himself out there. That was a terrible move, but I'll take it. This guy has what I assume to be a trash stack, but even if it isn't, we'll probably beat it. Oh yeah, that's a garbage stack. No need to even fight that. So we're moving to have four armies over here fairly soon. We're on turn 44. Yeah, things are going very well. Oh, I uh, I forgot about him entirely. What are you going to do there? Are you going to come out and attack me? Oh, they might come out and attack me. All right. I'm not in a perfect situation here. We are a little hurt at the beginning. The only real threat to us in this army is the miners with blasting charges. I'm so much faster than them that I might rely on that quite a bit here. Yeah, if you could deal with them. And I'm going to see if I can come at these guys from this side here. And this side's going to be a little trickier, I think. Yeah, if I could get at them while they're moving and not trying to target the guys that I'm actually getting at them with, that could be good. Okay, we're taking a lot of damage there from these guys. Overall being pretty effective. Alright, you just stay in there. We're losing quite a lot here, but we're going to have some reinforcements coming in soon to replace the guys we've lost. They still have some reinforcements coming in, my god. Yeah, they just do so little damage per shot. It really is almost nothing against that armor. Valiant defeat. I'd say that's a very valiant defeat. Because most of that first army is dead. We will lose most of our gabos. But we keep a few units. I think our lord survives. Yeah, both of those first armies are just completely gone. Completely destroyed. Their second army fared better than mine. I don't think they can attack us again there, though. Throat Cruncher lives to see another day, but barely. How much is it worth? 25 grand! We'll go for that. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Just auto-resolve for 25,000? I mean, yes, please. Okay, this guy is hurting. He is hurting. We're just going to run and global recruit whatever we can. Oh, Gelt. Oh, Scrag. Oh, no. All right, these guys are coming to rescue him, but Throat Cruncher might go down here. Scrag the Slaughterer. Okay, he has a trash stack, which is good. Oh, he's really going to go after Throat Cruncher. Please don't. Hopefully they can get away. Oh, no. Oh, if he chases that, they're just gone. I think Gelt might go for it, though. Yeah, now Gelt's gonna kill him. Oh, god. Yeah, I, I don't care to fight that. I don't think it's possible. 
All right. Um, lost a few good lords over the end turn, but overall I think we're in a decent spot still. Yeah, we're gonna have our third army here very soon. Right now we still have two. Yeah, I'll start building up two armies there again. Every few turns I end up building two armies. Uh, we have 13 armies now, that's plenty. The way I plan to do this is to have Snazdrog go down here and deal with the secondary settlement that Clan Angron has while I have Ratcash go up here and uh, besiege them as quickly as possible, maybe wipe this guy out first. And then have Sneak Squigbeard come up to reinforce Ratgash, because I don't think he'll be able to take it on his own. So if I do that, I should be able to, in about three turns, destroy Clan Angrund. Tretch. Ah, they're fighting each other. Oh, how lovely. Oh, that's very convenient. Alright, they are recruiting pretty quick. So I might need to wait until Squigbeard gets there to actually attack. They have so many armies, but they're all so bad. I'm really not too concerned about them. And that is four armies, but it's really two. Yeah, we win in auto-resolve. And we only lose a few units, but I will manually fight this to minimize casualties. They're running into the trees? Don't know why they're doing that. Okay. Why are you just letting them sit there? These four will just stop the Ogre Bulls, but the rest can just run into their archers. Yeah, they're just going in a conga line. I don't know why they're doing that, but I'll accept it. I'll take it. You want to get another itchy nuisance? And yeah, that's on their entire army now, so... Minus 24 melee attack and a lot of weapon strength for their whole army. They might be able to get a charge on our archers, but we're just doing so much to them here. Yeah. I and mean, those spinning loons are big. Oh, they're just going into the blob. They're not even going for our archers. Alright, man. Oh, that's a slaughter. That is just... Oh, there's so many ogres, but they're in such a bad position. Yeah, they're just getting murdered by my archers and my gobos. Oh, we'll hit him with another itchy nuisance. Oh, they're already routed. They're gone. Wow. Close victory. That's not a heroic victory. We lost 500 and we wiped out four of their armies, man. Really? We lost about 10 uh, goblins in that last fight because I just had itchy nuisance on every single unit in their army. And they all had like 30 melee attack to begin with, so... Four armies, no problem. <laughs> Obviously not full, four full armies, though. But, you know, four partial armies. Are they going to attack me? Really? I get I'm in Force March, but... Uh, they do have a lot of Slayers in that second army. Uh, we do have a few Spinning Loons in this army. We didn't in the previous army we dealt, or, uh, we fought them with. And also, the biggest problem there was that about two-thirds of our melee units were immediately taken out by their blasting charges. That's really why we lost the previous fight with them. Can't see shit here, but I'll go for it. Okay, it's working. Yeah, that's getting a good number of kills. Probably not that much damage, but enough. Uh, you just keep going straight through and you get at those Quarrelers. I think you can do that. Uh, you guys shoot those slayers, and you guys are already shooting those slayers, so I'm not going to force you to do anything. The good thing is we don't need to retarget, because the slayers will just keep fighting until they're dead, and we'll keep shooting until they're dead. Alright, we are winning this. We are winning this. Yep, those slayers are gone now. Alright, those miners are mostly perma-broken. We'll go for the last use here on those miners. They should break. Yeah, they're breaking because of that. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I'll take that. I mean, we lost a few, few gobos there, but they lost everything. They have four units, including their lords, remaining. So, I'll take that. Got a little replenishment. I mean, that's going to be much easier to deal with now. 
especially with these other armies around here, I was getting a little concerned, but now we take this pretty solidly. Oh, you're going to go for that attack, aren't you? You didn't have your second army reinforced. You should have had that. That was a mistake that you have made and that you will now die for. Hmm, actually, do I want to manually fight Warzag? No, no I don't. Because I auto-resolve win this with low casualties, I'm going to do that. Alright, we're going to finish off the dwarves here. Uh, I don't want to auto-resolve that when we're going to take casualties. I'll have to manually fight this. L plus ratio plus stunties. We'll get a little recovery here. And then both him and Sneak Squigbeard will be able to besiege Carrick Izor next turn. Ah, uh, they have another army there, and it is not doing very well. They're actually going to lose units to attrition. Wait, I didn't even think to check here. It showed on the map that that was their last settlement. Where are they then? Wait, did they only have one settlement now? Oh! Okay, well, never mind then. Never mind, I, I didn't even think to check that. One of their settlements was raised by someone else. Doing our job for us. I'll, I'll leave all of that for later. The first thing to do this turn is besiege them. And we don't have a siege attacker. I always keep forgetting that. I, I'm so used to just having one siege attacker in every single army that I just haven't been considering that this campaign. Alright, I have two options. One is a guaranteed Pyrrhic victory, and the other is fighting Belagar Ironhammer. I am afraid to fight Belagar Ironhammer, but just to make it entertaining, I am going to fight Belagar Ironhammer. I mean, I, I win it, but I don't know how many he's going to kill. He has effectively 125% missile resistance, but he also has 134 armor, so he is immune to missiles, Immune to melee because of his melee stats, they're insane. And he will one-shot my lord. Both of my lords here. He'll, he'll basically one-shot them. I think the AI is more likely to make mistakes if I attack one army here and the other army over there. I'm going to go for that. I'll move these guys here. Oh. Oh, that hurts. Oh my god. Yeah, they've routed three of my units before we even got to the walls. I do think we'll take this with our second army here, but not by as much as I would have liked. Alright. You lads, come over here. It looks like this first army may just be kind of a sacrifice here. But if that means that we win this in the end, I'm okay with that. Oh my god, they're really just blobbing around us there. Yeah, that's that's not great. Plus they have the towers and all that. Alright. We're not winning this front, but we're not losing it horribly enough. that I'm concerned about it. I, I just, I got a little too bold pushing up immediately. I should have waited for the second army to come fully in before even engaging. But now we can capture all the points here we need. And I, I think just because they're slow and they're dumb, we win this. These guys are slowly taking damage. They are mostly going to die. That's fine with me because overall it won't stop us from winning. And that's all that matters. Alright, everyone just charge. Oh wait, we just won we just won from the victory points? We <laughs> I, I've never done that before. I've never actually won from just the victory tickets before. I thought you had to like still kill their army. I thought it would give like a leadership bonus or something, but I'll take it. We could have won that genuinely. I, I guess it makes sense. I mean, I think it would be better if it just turned over all the towers to you. That would be cooler. Beligar didn't even have to fight him. Didn't even have to kill his army. We lost an ungodly number of goblins there. <laughs> we lost two-thirds of our initial army. And we killed only a small portion of their army. But it counts. We, we really only lost one unit there. Wow. <laughs> Oh, 12,000. Yeah, no, I'm occupying it, though. That's ours. Yes, short victory achieved. Clan Angrun destroyed. That was surprisingly hard. I really... That was harder than dealing with Clan Morris. They actually had good armies, rather than having a bunch of shitty armies, so... How close are we? 
Yeah, we're far enough away from it that I'm not going to do it this episode. Because we still need 11 more settlements, I can maybe get like 3 per turn, and each turn right now is taking 30-40 minutes. I think there's a full other episode to do that if you guys want. I'll leave that up to you guys though, I, I might do a community poll or something. Thanks for watching this whole series, guys. Uh, I mean, this is being crazy. Definitely keep an eye out for that poll over the next few days. I'll probably do that around Monday or Tuesday. But yeah, peace out. That's, that's all.